Hello and welcome back to Your Grounded. Today we're going to be looking at the iPatch and the iPatch Plus. If you like this video and you do find it helpful, please do help a growing channel by leaving a positive rating. Uh, and if you like statistical breakdowns, consider subscribing and checking out the current uploads that I have on offer. Now let's have a look at the iPatch. So first off we're going to be looking at the damage resistance perk and this has recently been added to the game and to the item. Testing its damage resistance like we do with everything else on the channel you can see that with nothing equipped we get hit by about 75% of our max health by the orb weaver's right handed strike. Now equipping the eye patch and taking the same hit again we take... Uh, wait, why have we taken more damage? That's a great question and uh, my answer is either a really cool approach to balancing or early access game. Let's assume the latter and carry on looking into this. Now this was happening before the October patch but I didn't get around to testing it properly. So first off I thought that the game had a one shot protection mechanic which I'm pretty sure leaves you with one HP and it's hidden by the black outline of the UI and the health bar. So I tested this on a ladybug and I got flat out destroyed in a single hit by it so there can't be any kind of one hit protection unless it's on a marginal basis. Like say if you took 110 points of damage, the game would then test to see if 110 damage is equal to or less than 110% of your HP and your HP would be 100 so the test would be true and it would save you by reducing your HP to 1. If you took 111 damage or more then this would be out of the safety net that the game provides and your HP would be set to 0 and you'd be dead. This would kind of be understandable to put into a casual game like Grounded and to help protect the player from certain attacks. I don't think that that is the case however. And then I wondered if the eye patch acted like a focus sash in the Pokemon games where it let you survive an attack if you were at 100 HP and you were reduced to zero in the same attack and it saves you and leaves you with one HP. So I tested this on the same ladybird and as you can see this is not the case. So just how bad are we talking here? How much damage are we taking? So as the Orb Weaver was now too strong for our testing, we had to find a new candidate. I settled on two of them and I tested three attacks in total. I'm not going to put you through all the footage that I had, but here are the end results. With the Worker Ant's Lunge attack, we can see that we took 40% more damage after putting the eye patch on. I also tested this with the Lava's Jab attack and its single lunge. These tests came back in the same ballpark but there were discrepancies which I don't really understand. This is why I tested it three times rather than testing it just twice to see if the discrepancies were due to enemy archetypes in the engine or if it was something funky to do with the attacks and there was a reduction being done somewhere else. Anyway, the attack was higher on all four tests. The spiders went up immeasurably, the worker ants went up by 40%, the lava jab went up by 37%, and the lunge went up by 32%. So the damage resistance perk is completely broken and it does quite the opposite of what it tells you. Next up is the stamina reduction part. Here you can see me punching the air and I can punch the air 20 times before running out of juice. This would suggest a 5% stamina drain per punch as 20 times 5 is 100%. When measuring with our old ruler however we can see that it looks more like 4%. But if it was 4% then we'd be able to punch 25 times and this is not the case, not even close. So this means that we need to make a new measuring device. And upon spending an awful amount of time making another damage ruler, this time it was using the hidden highlights of the stamina bar itself in the game, we can see that the resource bars start a little bit into the black lines highlighting them into the UI like I mentioned previously. We can prove this and the 5% stamina cost by overlaying a second punch with the first. As you can see, both total 5% and this is with the health bar starting a little bit further back, or the stamina bar should I say. I'll be measuring values like this in future videos. So after proving that our measuring is now accurate and corrected, we can start actually looking into some values. So just punching with no eye patch costs 5% and we can punch 20 times. With the eye patch on, we can punch 23 times. This would mean that from this test alone, the eye patch seems to provide a 15% stamina reduction. The difference, however, is that there is virtually no difference visually in the measurements. Although we've not been able to find a concrete visual representation of the 15% with this test, we have at the very least got a baseline number, which is 15%, to start looking on other things. Let's move on to something chunkier and that costs more stamina. 
Here we have the Mint Mallet. Three swings and I'm out of juice. Without the eye patch equipped, we are looking at around a 39% stamina cost per mallet swing. Equipping the eye patch brings this cost down from 39% to 35% per swing, and this is again around 15%. Both tests have shown either a 13.5 or a 15% threshold. Without knowing how the coding works in the engine and whether or not it rounds up or down or rounds at all, we can safely assume that this is a 15% stamina reduction. And finally we have the attack increase part of the armour. Here you can see that I've got four clips, two of an axe and two of a mint mallet. I'm performing the heavy attack for each weapon with and without the eye patch equipped, totaling four clips. Note that no mutations are on right now. So upon attacking the ant with the axe with nothing equipped, we hit for about 37.5% of its maximum health. We can measure this by dividing the enemy health bar into 20 segments and eyeballing each segment with 5%. With the mallet equipped, we hit for 62.5% of its maximum health, and these are our starting numbers. So after equipping the eye patch and reloading the same save, we hit for 41% with the axe and 68% with the mallet. This means that the damage boost of the eye patch is around 10%, so all in all, the regular eye patch gives you a 10% damage boost, and in exchange you take 30 to 40% more damage. Good for experienced players who have mastered parrying, but for everyone else, just don't use it. The upgraded eye patch provides a 15% stamina cost reduction on top for anything that involves swinging a tool or a weapon around. I do know that the eye patch got nerfed when the game first dropped, but I wasn't around to collect data on this as I wasn't playing yet. Who was around, however, is a YouTuber called My Usual Me. I snagged some still images from the video he made back when the eye patch was stronger. I couldn't get perfect footage for what I needed and perfect comparison numbers, but beggars can't be choosers. So without the eye patch, the swinging cost was lower than what it is now. So I tested just the initial swinging value, comparing it to then and now to see if they had changed it, and they had. It used to cost 34% to swing it around, now it costs 39%. With the eye patch, the stamina cost reduced to 31%, which is much lower than what we have now, which is 35%. This allows him to get three hits in with the mallet, whereas now we would have to use a grub chest to give us extra stamina and enough for four swings. The stamina reduction was about 10% back then. Finally, we're looking at the pre-nerfed attack, and he has his co-op partner hit him while he's at full health with full acorn armor on with a mint mallet. The enemy currently doesn't have the eye patch equipped, and he takes 54% damage. After getting her to equip the eye patch, the damage jumps way up to 69%. Now, before we take that percentage jump at face value, remember, there is no evidence that anyone tested the damage resistance of the eye patch back then. So we're unable to see if this is just a pure damage buff or if this is a damage buff that is stacking with the extra damage taken bug that we currently have in today's build. If we assume that this bug did not exist back then, then you're looking at a 28% damage boost from the eye patch. If it were up to me, I would take the damage that you take from enemies and increase that to 50%. And in exchange, you would do 25% more damage, making this much more of a risk reward choice, but with a higher payoff for players who have mastered the combat. It also acts as an aspirational goal for players that are working their way up towards getting better at combat, because who doesn't want to melt the enemy's health bar quicker? Well that is all for today ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for stopping by, take care guys.